Over the last few months, I've had many, 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 many requests from people asking me how I go about doing my 2.5D rigs. So I thought I'd do a quick mini series showing you guys how I go about doing it. I decided to break it down into seven individual parts rather than having one two hour long video. That way you guys can pick what part of the tutorial you're most interested in and find a part that's relevant to you. What we're gonna do is create this guy on the screen. Um, we're gonna call him Canman for the sake of the video. Now I created him for the sole purpose to show you guys how I go about doing the body rigs. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it on a guy like this than a full humanoid body because that will take about eight hours. And I wanted to keep these tutorials so as, short, as short as possible. However, if you follow these techniques that I'm about to use and apply them to your rigs, you should be able to get the same effect. Um, this guy will be able to do a full 360 turn and all of his limbs, hands and feet should work along with his face, his eyes and his mouth. So, the parts are going to consist of the eye, the mouth, the hands, the feet, then character creation, rigging and smart bone actions. A few people might ask me, why am I going to create the hands and feet before I create the character? The reason why I do it this way is because I've had a few people ask me how I do hands and how I do feet. And I also do those separately as rigs within themselves so that way they're more interchangeable if I do one and have it saved if I make another character I can just pull that already made hand rig and apply it to that character without having to create it again yeah so without further ado I think we should get started now most people ask me what are my top three tips if I was to give them advice now I always say first thing I do is plan ahead and what I mean by that is what points do I need um, what do I want my character to be able to do and how many bones I'm going to need basically and by thinking about for example this character I know he's going to do a 360 turn so I need to think about what bones are, cru are crucial to allow him to do that and how many points am I going to need to allow him to be able to move in all the angles that I'm going to turn, turn him in. So, they're the kind of things I think about at the beginning of each project. And um, if you follow along, and as I said, apply these tips that I'm about to show you, you should be able to get your character to do all of the things that this guy is going to be able to do. So, if you check out the next video, you'll see how I create my eye. 